Alright, welcome back to Exquisite Tutorials. In today's video, we are going to talk about operations on set. We are going to talk about operations on set. And please, before we continue, just subscribe to this YouTube channel, like and share this video. There are four basic operations on set. In our last video, we talked about 14 terms used in set. We talked about equivalent set, we talked about equal set, we talked about power set. In our next video, we are still going to expand sheet and talk more on power sets and solve some questions on it. So for this video, let's talk about the four basic operations used in sets. We have four operations used in sets. The commonest and the most easy is what we call the union set. Then we have the intersection. Intersection. So these are the basic ones you know from the secondary school. Then the third one, we have the difference set, difference set, and the fourth one, we have the symmetric difference, symmetric difference set. So before I talk on this, for one of the on Venn diagrams, you must have heard of the word Venn diagram. A Venn diagram is a a circle is it comprises of circles inside a square or rectangle it is used to to denote sets the universal sets and the subsets that square or the rectangle is what we call the universal set while the subset is actually the circle so anytime you see circles inside square that's a venn diagram so the reason why i'm talking about venn diagram is that some of those terms we used in our last videos I will be explaining them using the Venn diagram and these four operations I will also explain them using the Venn diagram. So the union of two sets A and B is actually a new set that has all the elements of A and B. What do I mean by that? Now if we have a set A comprising of several elements and we have another set B having probably same and or different elements. Now, when you add all these two, all these elements together as one, it's more like a mar it's more like marriage. When you add those two elements together, we will form the union set. So we can say that the union set, the union of two sets A and B, is all elements of A and B all together. So it is denoted as U. This is the symbol to denote the union of two sets. So let me give an example. One. If set A, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and B, 2, 4, 8, 9. Now, the union of A and B is just adding these two elements together. When I say add, I don't mean you should add the two numbers, 1 plus 2, 3. No, that's not what I mean. I mean, list all these elements out. And add all this element to it. There is two here already, so there's no need for me to repeat two. There is four here already. There's no need for me to repeat four. So I'll just add the remaining elements that are not here. So this is the union of the set A and B. Let's do another example. If A is A, B, C, D, and B is five four three find um a union b now we said the union is adding all the elements to make up a new set so the union of a and b is a b c d then five four three so that's all for union now in a v diagram we present union of two sets as this this is the universal set and this is the set A, and this is the set B. Since we said the union of the two sets is addition of all the elements, it means that this shaded region is our A union B. That means adding all the elements together. So this is our A union B. Now let's move over to the intersection of two sets. It is denoted as this. Remember we said that disjoint sets are sets that have nothing in common 
and overlapping sets are sets that have something in common. So the intersection of two sets is actually those elements they have in common. So the intersection of sets A and B, for example, are those elements that A and B have in common. Now, if you look A and if you look at B, there are some elements that are in A that are also in B. Now, when you intersect these two, we are actually selecting those elements that both of them have. We have two here and we also have two here. We have four here and we also have four here. This implies that A intersects B is the element common to both A and B, which is just two and four. Or for question two, our A intersect B are elements common to both of them. Now, if you check now, there is no element here that is also here. So, since there is no element in common, remember we said an empty set is a set that has no element. So, A intersect B becomes an empty set or we present it as phi. This is because there is no element in common between A and B. So, that's for intersection of sets. Then, when we talk about different sets, it is denoted as this. Let me explain um, our intersection of sets with a Venn diagram. We have set A and we have set B. Now, this part is the part they have in common. This is actually what we call A intersect B because this is the part that these two circles have in common. Now, let's talk about the difference sets. The difference sets, the difference of two sets A and B, are those elements that are in A but not in B. That is to say, when we have A minus B, for example, we are trying to say that we should look for those elements that are in A, but those elements must not be in B. But when we say B minus A, we are saying we should look for those elements that are in B, but are not in A. So let's look for those elements. For question one, for question one, our A minus B are those elements that are in A, but are not in B. If you check closely, one is in A, but that one is not in B. So one is among those elements. If you check again, three is in A, but three is not in B. So three is among those elements. If you check again, five is in A, but five is not in B. So five is among those elements. Then for question two, our A minus B will be those elements that are in A but are not in B. Every element in A are not in B. So it's, it is wise to say that the difference between A and B is still A because all the elements that are in A are not in B because they have nothing in common. So this is the same thing as A, B, C, D. Or since everything here is still A and set A, we can call it A. Now, what if we are to look for B minus A? B minus A. Suppose we are to look for B minus A. The difference between B and A are those elements in B that are not in A. So what are those elements that are in B but not in A? 2 is here, but it is also in A. 4 is here and it's here. But 8 is in B but not in A. So 8 is among and 9 is among those elements. So this is B minus A for the first one. Then for the second one, B minus A, those elements in, oh, this is B, 5, 4, 3. All the elements in B are not in A. So those elements in B is actually 5, 4, 3, which is the same thing as set B. So let me show you how the difference between two sets is on the Venn diagram. Now we have this. And we have the two circles. If this is A and this is B, we are looking for A minus B. That is those elements that are in A. These are the elements that are in A. But those elements are not in B. If we circle this part, those elements here are those elements in A and B. That is why we are circling only this part to show that this is A minus B. Which means it is elements of those sets that are in A but not in B. Now, if you don't see this in this form. Now, there are other ways of writing A minus B. Instead of writing, instead of writing it as A minus B, you can as well write it as A intersection B prime. 
you can write it as a intersection b prime so what is b prime so sometimes we will need um we will need our universal sets to evaluate b prime but let me just show you an instance let me give you an instance our b prime if we have something like this our b prime if this is b our b prime are those elements that are in the universal set but are not in the set so it includes all these parts too and this other part now when you intersect this with only a meaning that every other thing here what do they have in common with a it is just this part that is why we can also write our a minus b as a intersection b prime or we can write our b minus a as b intersection a prime so sometimes you may see it in this form and sometimes you may see it in this form they both mean the same thing now lastly for this video let's talk about the symmetric difference between two sets the symmetric difference between two sets now the symmetric difference of sets a and b are those elements that are in a but not in b and also those elements that are in b that are not in a let me recall let me recap the symmetric difference of two sets a and b are those elements that are in a coupled with all the elements that are in b so if we have sets a and b the symmetric difference of a and b are the elements in a that are not in b adding them together with the elements in b that are not in a so let me it is denoted as this this is how they write it so if we have a triangle b we are saying it is those elements in a that are not in b this is the different set then adding them with those elements that are in b but are not in a this is what we call the symmetric difference so quickly let's get the symmetric difference of a and b so the symmetric difference of a and b is a minus b that means those elements in a but not in b which is one three and five one three five one three five that's those elements in a but not in b one is here three is here and five then adding them with those elements that are in b but not in a which is eight and nine so when you do this you are going to have the symmetric difference of a and b as one comma three comma five comma eight comma nine when you do for the second one the symmetric difference there's nothing here that is here and there's nothing here that is here so the symmetric difference of a and b are those elements that are in a but not in b which is a comma b comma c comma d adding them with those elements that are in b but not in a five comma four comma three forgive me for using this notation we do not use this notation this way i'm supposed to find this first and keep it find this first but i'm using this for you to understand it better so a triangle b becomes a comma b comma c comma d comma five comma four comma three that's for symmetric difference so let me show you how symmetric difference between two sets looks on a venn diagram if we have the universal set and we have the set a and the set b the symmetric difference of these two sets a and b are those elements in a that are not in b these are the elements in a that are not in b then adding them with those elements in b that are not in a so these are those elements in b that are not in a so this is how the symmetric difference of two sets looks like on a venn diagram this part is the intersection so this part is not added so we are adding the elements here and the elements here so that will be all for this video please do not forget to like and subscribe to our youtube channel thanks for watching